This is not the kind of video I like to be making in the middle of the season, but I have hurt my beloved John Deere 5400, so I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of it. This tractor has a hydraulic reverser transmission, so this lever shifts hydraulically between forward and reverse. And then the clutch pedal also actuates the same mechanism. So everything in the clutch system is hydraulically actuated. And then you pull it down like this and it puts it in park. And this is like a cable actuation. So this tractor, when the oil is cold or cool, it's a little sluggish to go forward and reverse, which is totally normal. But what happened is I was unloading this off the trailer and I was in reverse and I think what I did is I went really quick into park and let my foot off the clutch like that. Like I was rushing and uh, what happened I think is that the hydraulic system didn't completely shift out of reverse before I put it in park and then I let my foot off the clutch and it started to engage the clutch or the clutch was still engaged and it broke something in the parking pawl or whatever that engages with. So it made a terrible grinding noise and it killed the engine. I started it back up and it seemed completely fine. Park worked fine, no weird noises. I put it away and I forgot about it. And then a couple days later, I got the tractor out and took the trash down the driveway this morning and noticed a strange noise. That noise. That is not a good noise. Because this tractor is so ultra reliable, I don't really, I'm not really that familiar with um, where components are on because it really never needs anything other than fluid changes and regular maintenance. But, so I didn't even know where the parking setup is on this, but it looks like that the parking pall is located under that cover there. So the good news is I, I can strip off some of the operator station here, open that cover up and see what's going on in there. Um, unlikely that I can just fix it through there though, because my suspicion is, I don't know what that parking pole grabs onto, but if it grabs onto a gear that's a drive gear or if a piece of something broke, it went through a drive gear. To me, it sounds like I've got a chip gear on the output side of the transmission. The noise follows wheel speed, not engine speed. That would make sense since, you know, up here is reverser assembly, I assume. Here is gearbox, and this is at the back of it before the rear end. So this is probably on the output side of the transmission, and it probably stops, you know, one of the final output gears, and I'm guessing it chipped it, but I don't know. I'm ignorant, but I will not be for long. are I guess confirmed it's very hard to show this down inside there is the parking pole it doesn't look damaged but <clears throat> I can't quite figure out. I can hear the noise when I rotate the wheel right there so I think there's a gear below that I can't see here. So <clears throat> I'm wondering if I can take off this, this is the four wheel drive output right here. If I can drop that, it's right below where I'm trying to see. So I'll drain all the oil, drop that, and maybe I can see something else. So I've gotten a little further here. This gear that's way down there in the bottom I can't see in the camera, but I put a little white mark there, um, just sort of in that visible spot to see if the noise correlates with that one revolution of that gear. Click, click. You can 
see that spot right there. So it is, that's the gear I suspect. This is the one I suspected even before I got into it. Because here's the parking pole, right? And so what I suspect happened is I engaged this while the machine powered itself forward or backwards. And so I've marked it there. So when I hit it in this window, I'm, I know that's about where it is. So now I'll take off that the drive unit below, which is what that gear is driving, and see if the noise changes. Alright, so that four wheel drive, I don't know what you would call that. Drop box, I don't know what you'd call it, but this gear is being driven by the gear I suspect is messed up the gear above. And I took it off in position right where it made the noise. So, you know, the driving surface is these teeth here, these top few teeth are engaged at the time the noise is being made. I can't feel or see anything wrong with these. <laughs> that being said, it's very hard to see anything wrong with the other gear, but interestingly, so that gear, very hard to show. Let's see that white, white paint mark. Can't even get my finger in at a point right there. That's when that comes by the window here, that's when the noise make happens. So now listen. Nothing. So I've been to the dealer, I've got the parts ordered, I ended up ordering the Park Paul gear, and I didn't actually get the Park Paul. I decided not to order it, but I can if I need to. Um, I ordered the gear, the gasket for this, top cover, the gasket for the rear end to transmission. You got everything disconnected and stripped off. There's not a ton to disconnect. There's hydraulic line, fuel lines, a small wiring harness, the joystick cables that go to the selected control valves, the brake lines, and uh, a couple other minor things. It's not too bad. So, I'm getting ready to split it. Alright, that is a part. This is the fending gear right here. So, I'm going to take this, everything off the shaft. Hopefully it's just on there and it slides off. Hopefully it's not pressed on. It's five days later, got the parts, and to put it back together. I've already cleaned these gaskets off, cleaned this housing all out. Time to do the same here and then reassemble. This is the old gear, and I've lost my paint mark on it, and I, I'm having trouble even finding where the spot was that was causing the noise. If it wasn't so straightforward to diagnose this, I would be really in doubt that this is going to fix it. The come along method worked getting it apart, so I'm hoping it will work to pull it back together. And I don't know how it's going to go, we'll see.
moment of truth. Success.